Welcome to the Witchy Work Wishes podcast, a place to find your weekly inspiration for bringing your personal witchcraft practice into your business, work, and office. Welcome to Witchy Work Wishes. I am your host, Charlene, and you are joining me today for episode 10, Wednesday is Mercury's Day. Before I begin with today's podcast, I always like to start with three things I did over the weekend to help with my witchcraft practice. I love this time of year, and I think everything about it is magical. And while I have candles going um, in my home all year long, during Yule and Christmas, I have candles everywhere. Being a hearth and home girl to the core, (laughs) I have been able to do more hearth workings and fire magic this past week, and it makes me feel so good inside. Even just to start a morning fire on the weekend without any big rituals or spell work is comforting to me. So this weekend, I made a wonderful fire on Sunday morning. I sat curled up with a fuzzy blanket, a big cup of my cinnamon coffee, and watched a holiday movie. Okay, maybe it was like three movies, but um, anyways, (laughs) this whole time of year sparks joy in my life. I talked about uh, bells in last week's podcast, and I have just as many bells around my home as I do candles. The only issue I need to fix right now or work on is with my foster fail kitten, who is now about um, eight months old. So he is fascinated with the candles and the fireplace, basically any type of flame. Um, so now the fireplace, of course, has a protective screen in front of it because it's a full wood burning fireplace and the kitten can't really get too close to cause any damage to himself there. Um, not so much with the candles everywhere. So he actually caught his fluffy tail on fire last week. No kidding. And luckily his whole tail did not just spontaneously combust, which of course, in my mind, I pictured it doing so since it's so fluffy. Um, But it did start melting over the candle flame. And if you have not smelled burning cat fur before, yeah, you're, you're not missing anything. So luckily I saw it happen. I screamed out his name. I ran over and grabbed him and started patting down his tail. Literally just like the movies when, you know, someone is on fire and a blanket is put over them and they're patted down. So I rushed him into the kitchen, threw his tail into running cold water and saw that he was basically fine. He was okay. There was not much damage, but it did scare me. So luckily, since this little one has been with me since he was a couple days old, he is pretty well tied to my hip. Whatever room I am in, he's pretty much in. Unless, of course, he's like down sleeping on my bed. Uh, But still, I really can't have all of my candles going now because I need to totally monitor him and the open flames. Nonetheless, I have all of my vast amount of candles perfectly positioned throughout my home for the holidays, and I can't be happier or more content with all of my fire magic. Okay, second, I finished up my holiday decorating uh, this weekend, both at my home and my office. It took a bunch of energy to get it all done, but I did it. And I have to say, the podcasts I've done thus far have been really helpful, as many of the tips I found for bringing a little witchcraft practice into my office has helped with the holiday decorating. From the Yule bells to the wonderful essential oil in the office diffuser now, filling the air with scents of pine, to the relaxing afternoon teas. All of this research on the topic so far have been have been helpful to me. So I sure hope they've been helpful for you too. Um, everything is up now though, and I can sit back and enjoy the decorations myself and start my shopping. And while <clears throat> excuse me, shopping might not be, you know, very witchy itself. I do personalize all of my gifts and create themes for each of the people I am giving to. It's an important part of the holidays and Yule for me, and it's definitely a part of what I do each December. All right, if my crows are getting too loud, unfortunately, I'm not going to know until I go back and edit this. <laughs> They're all sitting on the telephone, telephone wire just looking at me. Um, Okay, so lastly, I finished up the book um, that I was reading this past weekend called Waking the Witch, Reflections on Women, Magic, and Power by Pam Grossman. And I know I mentioned it last week, but I really did enjoy this book. Um, Just to have someone 
at least in her opinion, go back and recap the history and all the events that have swayed opinions really up through current times right now um, was a great process to be led through. So I'm not sure what my next book will be. Um, I am looking into a bunch of options. I would really like to put more energy into the elements. And I have started pulling notes for the element of water and how to incorporate it into the office, which I'll be talking about on my December 21st episode. Happens to be the first day of Yule. Yay! Um, I found a couple books on this and I'm interested I'm really interested on elemental magic, so I might grab one of those to start this weekend. Okay, let's see. Moon status this week. Well, on Wednesday as this airs, our beautiful moon will be almost in her full moon stage. The December full moon is on Thursday 12-8, which is tomorrow. So she'll be like 99% full (laughs) when uh, this Wednesday episode airs. Uh, Full moons are really the most recognizable stage of the moon by people worldwide, right? You know, regardless of their religion or spiritual beliefs. Uh, Your goals made with the new moon have hopefully come into their success now. And if you plan something specific to match the stages of the moon, they would, of course, um, been ending with the full moon. So this is hopefully your time to enjoy the completion and celebrate your win. Full moons are a great time for lucid dreaming, and almost always stir up a bunch of extra energy. This is a time to let go of projects that are done or feelings that should be resolved. There are so many great full moon rituals. I would encourage everyone to give it a try if you have not done one in the past. Of course, my last full moon spell work was a biggie, so I'm going a bit lighter on my work tomorrow night. Um, I don't think I can do or I have the energy (laughs) to have two full moons like the last one uh, back to back. So light and easy this one tomorrow night will be for me. Okay, let's jump into today's main topic, which is how Wednesday is Mercury's day. So we've covered two of the weekdays and their planets so far. We had Monday Moon Day, very feminine, followed by Tuesday Mars Day, very masculine. Well, Mercury Wednesday, our third day of the week, um, is our social and travel day. It is all about communication. And if you know any Gemini or Virgos, this is their day. So I have today's episode broken down into three main areas, which are how Wednesday is ruled by the planet Mercury, and of course, what this means for us, things we can do on Wednesday at work that will help us have better work days, And then clothes, colors, and jewelry to wear on our Wednesday Mercury days. First, let's talk about Wednesday and how the planet Mercury rules this day. So the planet Mercury is actually the planet that is closest to our sun. It has big, beautiful craters that help create the many beautiful colors of the planet. And it also happens to be the smallest of our solar system's planets. I believe it's only a tad bit bigger than our moon. So the two signs with Mercury are Gemini and Virgo. Geminis are very smart, witty, socially popular. Uh, They are talkative, sharp, and very outgoing. Virgos are analytical, hardworking, smart, organized, sensitive, trustworthy, and very social. If you take all of that energy and wrap it into a planet, you will have Mercury. The crystals for Wednesday are going to be citrine, adventurine, and agate. Colors will be yellow, orange, purple, gray, and light blue. Honestly, it's a bunch of (laughs) colors. It's a bunch of colors. Um, And our herbs will be lavender and jasmine. If you have incense to burn, aromas for Wednesday will be lavender, eucalyptus, jasmine, and sweet pea. For the elements, air and is the one tied to Wednesday. Uh, Metals for Wednesday are going to be both Quicksilver and, of course, Mercury. And if you don't know what the metal Mercury is, think of an old-school thermometer, which, honestly, I don't even know if they are sold anymore. Um, Those have Mercury in them. So this is the day for, excuse me, knowledge, wisdom, communication, and travel. If you are going to jump into a new subject, Wednesday is your day to do it. 
Study up, read, gain knowledge, and learn all of the facts you need to know on a Wednesday. This is your perfect day for communication. And it's certainly why I have my podcast airing every Wednesday. That was intentional on my part. Uh, Even though the work for the podcast goes in days prior to it airing, I really wanted the day of communication to be the day witchy work wishes aired each week. So if you're looking into spell work for Wednesdays, anything that grants information or maybe helps with studies, travel, and wisdom will be the best. Wednesdays are business days and good days for anything work or school related. Our deities for Wednesday are Odin, Hermes, also known as Mercury, Athena, and Lou. Wednesday is ruled by the mind, so anything you can do to better your mind is great to do with Mercury's help. Okay, specifically for the deity work on Wednesdays, um, I just said, you know, Odin, Hermes, also called Mercury, um, Athena, or Lu. So Odin is the Allfather, a Norse god known for having one eye and the breath of life. He is almost always shown with his two sacred companions, ravens named Hugin and Munin, which is maybe completely appropriate since everybody is screaming at me again. <laughs> you can hear my crows outside. Um, he also has his two wolves, uh, Gary and Frecky. He is associated with wisdom, poetry, travel, inspiration, magic, transformation, the dead, and is a good general god since he is in fact called the All Father. Odin is known to favor certain types of people who call on him. He likes writers, of course, good communicators. Um, He likes leaders, soldiers and warriors, academics and travelers. Uh, The number nine is very powerful when working with Odin, which correlates um, to him hanging himself from the Yggdrasil, hopefully I'm saying that right, the world tree for nine days to gain the runes. Um, Odin resides in Valhalla. So Hermes is a Greek god and known to be the messenger and patron of many things. His Roman name is Mercury. He is the god of travel, roads, hospitality, diplomacy, writing, inventions, trade and merchants, and even known for being a trickster. I mentioned uh, thermometers earlier, The mercury element used in the old thermometer comes from his name, his Roman name, uh, Mercury. So you'll often see Hermes with winged sandals and a winged hat or helmet uh, carrying a wand. Athena is the Greek god of wisdom and war, also known for pottery, um, counsel, and heroic uh, endeavors. Her parents are Zeus and Metis, and she is said to have been born in full battle gear. Athena is a protector of her people and known to reward loyalty. Owls are heavily associated with Athena and said to be her sacred animal. Athena works well with the dark moon, so if that ever happens to fall on a Wednesday, you'll have some powerful options available to you when working with her. So Lu is a Celtic, I believe Celtic god of the sun, um, a trickster god and Mercury of the Celts and God of War. He is a figure of the sky and possibly, you know how like the Gemini um, sign is associated with the twins? Lu is also associated with Keen, which is Lu's father. So there's a dual twin God, you know, where the son is the same as the father. Um, A dual Mercury, one who is young and one who is old. So I don't know too much about Lu, uh, but he is now on my list to learn more about. Okay, what are some things we can do on Wednesday for work that will help us have better work days? Well, I think at the office, Wednesday is most commonly known as hump day since it falls right in the middle of a typical Monday through Friday work week. Uh, Since Wednesday is ruled by the planet Mercury of the gods of communication though, this is a great day to catch up on your emails. Do some long-term planning and brainstorm ideas. Mercury is all about moving forward and adding to your life. So working on things that will, you know, increase your production, um, further your education and your skills are great. 
Some good candle work before you go to the office or, you know, when you come home are going to be specific spells using a yellow and orange candles. Of course, if you're doing anything with communication, you can dress the candle with cloves, mint, uh, lemongrass, or parsley to add a punch to your spell work too. If you're doing a spell work or ritual that will be for your success or something to help you be, you know, more competitive at work, go ahead and use a green candle for that one though. Um, so to tie a Mercury Wednesday spell to something that will bring great communication results to you, um, especially if you're having trouble maybe finding the right words for something with your job, go ahead and use a yellow candle and mint and focus your intentions while it burns. You, of course, can repeat this spell each Wednesday to keep your progress moving forward and continuing the energy for your desired outcome. Mercury is all about positive connections and being active. So just keep moving forward on Wednesdays at work. <laughs> if there is a Mercury retrograde happening, which I know freaks a lot of people out, you can bring some calmness to your job by you know, double checking your schedules, triple checking your appointments and your meetings and your to-do list. Just make sure you have not forgotten anything during a Mercury retrograde. So clothes, colors, and jewelry to wear on our Wednesday, Mercury Day, well, since Wednesday is ruled by the air element, clothes that are flowing and loose will be great today. Feathers, of course, are um, representative of the air element and can be incorporated by using them into your outfits too. Mercury has so many colors associated with it, so I would say on that front, have at it. <laughs> I mean, really. Uh, main ones, of course, are going to be yellow, orange, light blue, gray, and purple, but I think really just about anything is open today. Uh, jewelry on Wednesday is going to be great um, in using crystals in your pieces. Again, those are citrine, aventurine, and agate. If you don't have those crystals in jewelry form, though, you can always carry a piece uh, in your pocket. For stones, you can incorporate opal gel, uh, gemstone into your jewelry on Wednesday, too. Okay, let's see if I can summarize all this up. So Mercury Wednesday can be summarized with the following notes. One, this day is ruled by communication, expression, and travel. Two, the two signs associated with Mercury are Gemini and Virgo. Three, Geminis are very smart and witty, socially popular, talkative, sharp, and very outgoing. Four, Virgos are analytical, hardworking, smart, organized, sensitive, trustworthy, and very social. Five, the crystals for Wednesday are going to be citrine, adventuring, and agate. Six, colors will be yellow, orange, purple, gray, and light blue. But of course, I would say there's a bunch of colors, so have at it. Um, our Wednesday herbs will be, oops, seven, sorry. <laughs> our Wednesday herbs will be lavender and jasmine. Uh, eight, if you have incense to burn, aromas for Wednesday will be lavender, eucalyptus, jasmine, and sweet pea. Nine, for the elements, air is tied to Wednesday, so feathers, loose flowing, air like clothing will be best. Ten, our metals for Wednesday are going to be both quicksilver and, of course, mercury. Eleven, our deities for Wednesday are Odin, Hermes, also known as Mercury. Athena, and Lou. And lastly, number 12, Wednesday is ruled by the mind. So anything you can do to better your mind and communication is great to do with Mercury's help. Okay, well, I did write a poem for today's podcast, and how could I not, <laughs> seeing how it's all about communication? Uh, okay, so here we go. Talk and talk and talk some more. The chatter quickly turns a chore. Without true meaning, the words are said to continue on a thoughtless thread. But not for me, not today. I seek a Mercury kind of way. Today is Wednesday's day to glow, and with this energy, my words will flow. Sharp and witty, my thoughts will be organized, sensitive, and trustworthy. With meaning and skill, I'll shape my notes and share my clever antidotes. Gemini and Virgo will guide me well and help me script the words to tell. 
The powerful air will lift me high and speak the truth that I stand by. So, no more chatter or thoughtless words. I'll take the strength of Odin's birds. His ravens call a path to me that's magically wild and forever free. I'll talk and talk and talk some more, as did generations past in our folklore. It's with true meaning my words stand strong, as Mercury's voice sings forever long. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode on Wednesday being Mercury's Day. Next week, my podcast is all about Yule and how we can incorporate Yule into our office and work. I know it probably should be airing on Wednesday, 1221, since that is the first day of Yule, but I thought if I waited and did the podcast then, we would not have any time to incorporate the ideas into our office. So next week is all about Yule and work, and then the week after is my first podcast on the elements and how to bring them into our work, uh, even if it's just a little bit. And I'll be starting with the element of water, which being a cancer sign, I just could not resist. Um, So the end of December will wrap up my 2022 season, and I'll be talking about goals and ideas for 2023 on my last episode of the year. So that is all I have for you this week. As always, if you have something you would like me to research more and possibly do a podcast on, please zip me an email uh, to info at witchyworkwishes.com. I promise to email back just as quick as I can, or, you know, shoot me a message on Instagram. Have a great week, and I will talk with you next week. Thank you for joining me today at Witchy Work Wishes, a place to find your weekly inspiration for bringing your personal witchcraft practice into your business, work, and office. For more information and additional content, please visit me online at witchyworkwishes.com. If you want to send me a personal note, please email me at info at witchyworkwishes.com. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Just search for Witchy Work Wishes.